Get ready to discover the musty spots, hidden gems, and local secrets that make this city a truly unforgettable destination. No, nothing's gonna make me forget, and I don't think I want to forget anyway, yeah, yeah. Hong Kong is one of the most visited cities in the world, especially after the borders opened to tourists following the COVID-19 pandemic. There are countless reasons to visit, including its vibrant culture, blend of preserved history and modernity, delectable food, and so much more. In this video, we've had a recent layover in Hong Kong, and we are here to provide you with a simple and realistic guide on what you can explore in this vibrant city. We'll cover famous and easily accessible attractions, hidden gems, budget-friendly places, and more. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to make the most of your one-day trip to Hong Kong, creating lasting memories that might just entice you to come back for more. So if you're ready to explore Hong Kong with us, fasten your seatbelt and enjoy! <laughs> Hong Kong offers a whirlwind experience of this vibrant city with a mix of famous attractions, hidden gems, and free activities. Here's a well-rounded itinerary that covers your mentioned spots and more. On this one-day exploration, let's explore Kowloon. Start your day at Kowloon Public Pier, taking the stunning views of Victoria Harbour and the iconic Hong Kong skyline from this picturesque location. Next is a stroll along the Victoria Harbour. Take a leisurely walk along the harbour front promenade, which offers great views of the cityscape and the harbour. Next is visit Victoria Dockside. Located nearby, Victoria Dockside is a mixed-use development with shops and dining options. Explore its offerings and maybe enjoy a meal at one of its restaurants. Next is we have the Avenue of Stars. This revamped waterfront promenade is dedicated to Hong Kong's film industry. You can take photos with the statues of famous actors and actresses and learn about the history of Hong Kong cinema. Halfway from our list is by taking a star ferry to Central. Enjoy a classic ride on the Star Ferry across Victoria Harbor to Central. It's a budget-friendly way to see the city from the water and provides a unique perspective of Hong Kong. So while you are in this area, you can have lunch in Central. Explore Central's dining scene. Lan Kwai Fong offers a wide variety of international and local cuisine. And there's so much local cuisine to find in this place. Alright, next one is one of my favorites, The Peak. <music> The Victoria Peak in the afternoon. You can take the peak tram for an iconic journey up the hill. Quick tip, try to beat the queue and be the first one to enter the tram. On the way up, choose a right window seat which will give you a chance to have a good view while you're on the way up and I assure you that you will get a lot of good pictures or videos of the skyline of Hong Kong. Trust me with that. And once you are at the top, enjoy breathtaking panoramic views of the city and harbor. And within the vicinity, you can have some snacks, you can have some coffee, and do some more activities. Visit Madame Toussaint's. It's actually conveniently located at the peak as well. This is my closest chance to take a picture with the one and only Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. And yes, you can have fun taking photos with the wax figures of your favorite celebrities. After a day of exploration, head to the Pullman's Hotel Rooftop Bar, a hidden gem that we have found by accident. Enjoy a cocktail while soaking in the sunset and taking in the stunning cityscape. Make sure to arrive early to grab a good spot and a seat. We took our time to procrastinate and enjoy the sunset combined with this beautiful 
skyline of Hong Kong. Alright, if you have an additional day or time to explore, you can consider these options. Start with a dim sum breakfast. Begin your day with a traditional dim sum breakfast at a local restaurant. It's a quintessential Hong Kong experience. Next is Chilin Nunnery and Nanlian Garden. Visit this peaceful complex that combines ancient Chinese architectural design with tranquil gardens. It's a hidden gem that provides an escape from the bustling city. Go to Tsim Sha Tsui Promenade. Have a lunch at a local eatery, try some local street food, or visit a Cha Cha Teng, the traditional Hong Kong style cafe, for a simple yet delicious meal. You can go shopping in Mong Kok. Head to Mong Kok, one of Hong Kong's most bustling districts, for shopping and street food. Be sure to explore the Ladies Market and Temple Street Night Market if visiting in the evening. Have a dinner at a local restaurant. Enjoy a delicious meal at one of the local eateries in Wong Kok. And lastly, if you have an extra day, extra money, extra energy to explore Hong Kong Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Whether you are visiting with your family and kids or unleashing the inner kid in you, a trip to Hong Kong Disneyland is a must. While theme park tickets can be on the pricey side, it's an experience that's worth every penny. So consider including it in your budget. Now, some helpful tips. Download or avail of the Octopus Card for the transportation system convenience, which can also be used for payment at other shops. Take the Airport Express. Getting to and from Hong Kong International Airport couldn't be any easier with the incredibly efficient Airport Express train. Next tip, depending on the weather, wear as comfortably as possible. We visited during the summer season and it was very humid. So we packed and used lightweight and quick dry clothes. And speaking of weather, next tip is check typhoon signals as Hong Kong experiences frequent typhoon. Next is try and eat the egg waffle, which is all around Hong Kong. <laughs> and of course, experience cheap local foods. And my last important tip is be polite, be respectful, and learn some basic Cantonese phrases like Ni Hao. <laughs> Your one to do day trip to Hong Kong combines iconic attractions with hidden gems and budget-friendly options. This itinerary will help you make the most of your visit while experiencing the essence of this vibrant city. And that's about our summary of events and recommendations for your quick yet productive day in Hong Kong, ensuring you make the most out of it. Take note, this is a personal experience of course, and if you are watching this and have been here before with some additional sites that are not covered in our list, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. And of course, let's learn from one another. Also, if you like this content and you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to our channel in order to have a wider reach to an audience who shares the same passion for travel. We are the Joy Kings, your passport to adventure. And we love to share our travel experiences, passion for aviation, and hotel accommodation recommendations via our personal reviews. Speaking of which, Watch out for our future videos on our flight experiences to and from Hong Kong and our recent stay at Intercontinental Hong Kong. And we'll share if it's worth the stay. From our Hong Kong layover, we flew directly to Japan. And here's a video that I recently created on our experiences, a week journey to Japan, which you may be interested or maybe you're planning to or maybe you dream of going to. So we thank you for traveling with us in Hong Kong today. And as we end this video, we leave you this ultimate tip. Work hard and travel harder. See you next time. Bye! Bye, -bye.